Now let's look at some album covers, and we're getting close to the end of this final section, which will be the end of the whole thing. Anthrax, and you can see the pentacles and the lightning bolts and the uh, skull and bones, the greater of two evils. T-Pain and the reference to the top hat and Freemasonry. Here's this triple six sign. Three rings or 33, 33 degrees in Freemasonry. There is the sun rays behind him. All occult symbology. Lincoln Park. And you can see the griffins on both sides here. That's used in the occult. You, know, you can look at old hotels and buildings. They have griffins everywhere. This is a bird-lion hybrid. And then you have the Lincoln Park and the tri triangle in the circle. Moving on, Bohemoth, and you can see that uh, infinity sign with a double cross. The double-headed phoenix. Moving on, the sun rays behind. Incubus, very clear that this is an owl. The owl of Minerva, the single eye of the owl itself with the Nero's cross. And what else is there? There's the phoenix here underneath. I know it's not as clearly seen, but you have all of this occult symbology there. And, of course, the sun symbol behind. And we saw this earlier in the pentagram. I believe this is the pentagram in the middle with this maze here. The winged disc, A, A anarchy, the winged disc of Egypt. Pretty obvious. should be pretty obvious. Look at the arch of Freemasonry. We've seen that. The two pillars. Lily Allen. You can see the occult symbology here now that you saw this in the Baphomet. The intertwining serpent coming up. Look at the police going on with that seven-pointed star here. And then the crown. That's uh, England, she's from the UK. Lightning bolts and the devil sign. Checkerboards behind. The sign of the benediction. King with a lion there. I don't know if there's wings on that representing Babylon, but uh, anyway, moving on. Uh, they do it all. You can see clearly checkerboards. Uh, this is uh, the Rolling Stones. Saturn. Cayune representing that star Saturn if you look at the talisman of Saturn it is a hexagram and pentagram together with the bull no doubt the return of Saturn this all represents Satan okay don't believe me if you don't get it here is Saturn very clear interesting representation of this cross of confusion here's the talisman of Saturn you see the bull? This was the calf that was being erected uh, in gold uh, in Egypt that God said not to do, and Moses had to put a stop to this. Clearly against this religion, the Bible is. And so you have now the broken pentagram. Uh, this is Boots, I believe, uh, of the United Kingdom. Let's move on with Superman. Does this look like a serpent to you? Uh, no, it doesn't. There's that diamond shape, which is uh, Spiritism and the Elite. Very interesting. Maybe this is coming out in 2013. Superman. And we can see clearly there is some type of a feathered or horned snake symbol there. He happens to work at Saturn, or the Daily Planet, representing Saturn in that shape. There's the Daily planner, uh, Planet where he works. He gets his power from the sun. Here he is. Superman Dynasty will tell you that his lineage is of the house of El. Jor-El. Here are all the Els. Els are the gods representing Samael, Gabriel. Understanding that, and just so happens blue and red are satanic colors, and you can see here in Eyes Wide Shut, this satanic sex ritual they do, the black and red being worn in the center, and you see the reference to the double-headed phoenix, double-headed eagles of Rome, here is the earth being represented. We see this in the Roman Catholicism. This film was actually filmed in the Rothschild residence. This is the residence of a Rothschild banking family, 
And we're going to get into that in the second section. Please don't go away. Now this is a prime example of the Hegelian dialectic uh, as it works. This is um, Jay-Z, top of the food chain in hip-hop or rap. Some people don't even call it hip-hop these days. And this is uh, um, MC Hammer. Uh, he was supposed to have become a Christian. So good versus evil, he calls Jay-Z for, out for being a devil worshiper. But look at who MC Hammer is. MC Hammer is rebel spirit. The only rebel spirit that we know in the Bible is Lucifer himself. So here's rebel spirit. Isn't that interesting how it works? Calling him out for who he is, makes big news all over. Here's alchemist. Here's the knight in armor, the Knights Templar, and the Cross and Crown of Freemasonry of the Knights Templar Order, York Rite, and then you have the crown here. You see this Cross and Crown here. Is he a Christian? No, he's not. And so his brand alchemist now, uh, it was uh, pu making a push into the MMA. Look at Shiva Destroyer. All religions being represented here, the opposing dragons. Now, is that Christianity? This is Hegelian dialectics in play, showing you that this guy is good, this guy is evil, now synthesizing the good into evil. That's the brand. Fooling you, if you don't know what's going on. It's time to take life seriously and understand that your soul is what they want. Rihanna and the Skull and Bones, I and the Triangle, Eyes in the triangle, single eye symbology. There's Simon Cowell in his jet ski with the square and compass of Freemasonry. Look how creative Peter Gabriel gets with his eye in the triangle. Triple sixes in the eye, basketball players. This is Kentucky. And copycatting what is going on in the entertainment realm. Look at that. She has no clue that she's been brainwashed into doing this. Look at, they even make... <laughs> now, as a last image here for this plate, the Eye of Lucifer, 666, in the Eye of Horus or Lucifer, the Beast, 666. The horns using the two... Uh, signs of the benediction, which was the Baphomet sign. That's the devil again. And vulgarity and sex. Crossing. Making the cross. And he's saying, do you even know what's going on, chump? Fool? We're playing you. 